All right, so FedEx just dropped off my Mavic 2 Pro. As you can see, I've already cut open the box. I haven't gotten to anything inside yet, but I couldn't resist. And so I'd like to do a little bit of a first impressions, kind of an unboxing. Um, I've never really done one of these before, but I've got my Mavic 1 Pro, um, and I just want to see what the differences are between the old generation and the new generation. So here we go. All right, so digging into the box, the first thing you see is the drone. I've got the charging hub, and then I've got an extra battery. This looks like it is a little bit different from the charging hub of uh, the Mavic 1. So the old design had kind of a four around. You'd put these all together in here. You could plug either the Mavic charger or you could plug in the Phantom charger into this charging hub, and it would actually charge a little bit faster than if you just plugged in the uh, Mavic charger. So we'll set that aside. And then next we've got the Intelligent Flight Battery. I think it's a little bit thicker, if I recall from the pictures, but we'll have to see. Product information, not necessary. Packaging, what you're interested in seeing is the battery, right? Press the power button once, and then press and hold for two seconds. All right, so nothing's changed there, but it does look a lot thicker, so I'll pull over the Mavic 1 battery. There, that shows the size pretty good. I guess they're tapered, but still, you can see that there's a whole extra lip on the battery there. But from the markings on the back, it's only about 20 more milliamp hours, which is interesting. That gets you four more minutes. I don't know. I just fly the drones and take the pictures. All right, so I'm cutting in here while I'm editing this video because I realize that the milliamp hours are just slightly different, but more so the voltages are quite different. The Mavic 2 battery has a 15.4 volt rating and the Mavic 1 battery is 11.4. So if I go over here and you see I have a Mavic 1 Pro and then the other tab is Mavic 2, but Mavic 1 is 3830, 11.4 volts, and it's got 43.6 watt hours of uh, capacity. And then the Mavic 2 using the same numbers is 59. So it's like a 35%, uh, you know, you gain 35% more energy using this bigger battery. Um, but the Mavic 1 was 27 minutes of flight time, whereas the Mavic 2 is only 31. So if we were to do a 35% direct to increased flight time, it would fly like 36 minutes or something like that. Um, so that's not what this is rated for. I think this is only rated for like 31, um, but all that power is going to the all the other sensors, the LEDs, you know, I'm sure the motors and stuff like that are, are more efficient and all that jazz, but that's that's not all that it is improving on. It's improving on the fact that there's a lot more tech and a lot more for that brain to think about. Yeah, just cutting in here. Uh, anyway, back to the back to the video. All right, let's get into the hub. This one has little doors and these open like this. And then it looks like you slide the batteries into place this way. I'm interested to know if the, like this one, you could plug in the phantom charger into this port and it would charge a little bit faster. Like a no, unfortunately. This guy has a curved uh, input on it. You can see kind of right, right here, there's a curve to it. And that uh, unfortunately doesn't match up. That's a bummer. Anyway. Let's get on to the drone. Slice into it here. So satisfying. Let's see, I guess this guy comes up here. Wow, here's Mavic 2 in all of its glory. You're seeing it the first time I am. See if I can put it back on first try. Oh, huh. not bad. The controller looks a little different too. Oh no, where are my joysticks? So they stow away so that if you're putting the controller say in your bag or something like that, and it's in a compartment that's only this big, the joysticks are not gonna be pressed to the side and maybe set off the sensitivity when you get it back and turned on. So that's pretty nice. Oh, just on first impression, there's so much more to look at. Sensor there, there's a sensor there, there's a sensor there, there's a sensor there, there's one there. It looks like there's two LEDs here. Oh, so when you come in to land at night, it probably flashes those LEDs and says, where am I? That's 
pretty much it. I think this is your standard charger. This is from the wall to the charger. Now you can charge the uh, drone battery and the controller all at once. And now you can just tuck it right back here. For the two controller, it looks like it comes with the uh, the lightning plug installed, which is interesting. Maybe they're guessing that uh, the majority of people who own the drone are going to be using either an iPhone or an iPad to operate it. But the controller, as you can see, is a little bit of a different color. It's got the nicer joysticks. Um, it does have the uh, USB connection on the bottom. So the batteries go in the same, they're top load, which I think is, is the best way to load a battery on a drone because some of them, like the Phantoms, are back load and there were stories of people having it uh, sli like wiggle out the back or, um, you know, it just wasn't totally secure. But when you're flying a drone somewhere with gravity like Earth, uh, it's going to pull it, it's going to pull it down. So I think that's just the best design is to have it, uh, have it top load. Here's the old propeller and the new propeller side by side. There's little plastic covers there for what looks like the air intake. It kind of looks almost like a fire jet. Let's see, what does this guy say? Remove the gimbal protector. Yes, thank you. Because actually, some people, and in the marketing for the Mavic 1, um, this thing stayed on. And so some people thought that this was meant to stay on, which absolutely screws your picture quality, but you know to each their own right so that's pretty much it for my uh my first impressions of the mavic 2 it's uh it looks a lot different it looks a lot more complicated from the outside so i'll do another video next about kind of the software side of stuff because there's a lot more flight modes um there's a lot more uh time to do it because you've got 31 minutes now with these uh with the extended batteries so I'm looking forward to doing that video. Um, it should be out, I would say, in about a week or so. Um, I have to figure out some locations that I can go film at. But yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.